what's up everyone? My name is Jimmy Landry from Cakewalk and I'm going to show you a couple really cool things in the new Sonar X3. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is Addictive Drums, which a full license of Addictive Drums comes with Sonar X3 now, so check this out. We've got a track template here that I built and all these drums are all routed separately, so you've got separate outputs for every single drum here that's going to populate and automatically um, my EQs that I made, everything is saved to this track template. So all I did was drag that file over to the uh, track view and it automatically populates. Let's take a quick look at it. So as you can see up in the top here, I've got my snare EQ, I've got my hi-hat EQ, um, my tom. So really cool track templates. It's a great, um, a great thing for any producer that wants to save time. You don't have to keep going back and forth to set up all your uh, all your tracks. You just save it and it's done. And I also want to show you here, so this is our pro channel. I'm going to go to my snare track right here. And this is the uh, Sonar X3 producer um, uh, pro channel. And I'm going to actually show you the flyout now, which is great. So this is the Sonar X3 quad EQ flyout. And let's take a look at it in action and see what it looks like and what it sounds like. So I'll go to my addictive drums here and let's just pull something up here. Close that out, go back to the pro channel and let's take a look at the EQ. So as you can see now we've got a full analyzer on this as well. So one other cool thing that I wanna show you while I'm on here is that these buses here, you've got my main drum bus, my uh, parallel compression drum bus, and my drum master, which all came in with this file that I dragged over. And we have color customization now, which follows the bus. So if you see here, if I wanna turn all my drums a certain color, all the drums over here are gonna follow the color from the bus. So it's pretty cool. It's a great way to organize, especially if you have a lot of different tracks Everything kind of looks the same, so with color customization, you're really able to focus in on the music. So the next thing I want to show you guys is how Melodyne, industry standard Melodyne, is incorporated into Sonar X3 Producer and Sonar X3 Studio with ARA integration. So ARA integration is audio random access and it works a little differently how it processes it. And I'll show you. Um, right here I've got a uh, standard guitar track right here which has TH2 Producer by Overloud on it as a, uh, as a plugin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to drag the Lounge Lizard Session 4, which comes with Sonar Producer. It's a great uh, module for Rhodes and Wurlitzer. Um, so you can see it's in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split this track up so that we have a the MIDI track along with the, uh, the audio track, so MIDI and audio. So I'm going to break up the instrument track, split the instrument track, so I have access to the MIDI. And all I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna highlight this guitar audio. I'm gonna hold down shift so that it doesn't go left and right. I'm gonna hold down control so I make a copy and I'm simply gonna pull it down onto the MIDI track and you'll see what happens here. So Melodyne is working and it's instantly turned that audio into MIDI. So what does that mean? That means now that this performance that I have in audio, I can now use as a MIDI file with any instrument, any virtual instrument. So it's pretty cool, a real simple way you can get a performance in audio transcribed and transformed into MIDI and then you can go back and you can use it however you want. So not only can you transcribe time and pitch into MIDI with Melodyne through Sonar ARA integration, but you can also uh, have the benefit of just having your uh, standard Melodyne pitch correction. So with Studio or with, uh, with Producer, all you have to do is I'm going to highlight this same guitar track that we just worked on. I'll mute this. And you can either do it by right clicking here and going to Region Effects, Melodyne, Create Region Effect or I, what I've done here is I've actually mapped a key binding to M here and as you'll see it automatically just shows up for me right in the in the uh, multi-dock of, Sonar, of Sonar's uh, Skylight interface. So this just shows up, it's ready to be edited 
it's quick and easy and very powerful. And I also want to note that if you do want to upgrade to the, polyphon the polyphonic version of Melodyne, it will still work with the ARA uh, integration inside Sonar Producer and Studio. So a real quick and easy way to get the benefits of Melodyne integrated right into your DAW. So the next thing that I want to show you in Sonar is the new comping tool and the comping feature which is actually in Sonar X3, X3 Studio and X3 Producer. It's a great way to take a lot of different tracks and compile them into one great performance. So if you're a producer, a lot of producers uh, don't always take the song from beginning to end. If say I'm working with a singer or a singer songwriter, um, what I usually do is take verse by verse or maybe a chorus depending on what the singer wants to do. But here, as in this song, I've taken six different takes on this, uh, this verse. So let's just listen to it for a second. I've got the lead singer singing over an acoustic guitar. And Sonar actually makes new uh, tracks for you if you're in loop mode, so it'll automatically make a new take for you. Here's the main uh, track, and then you've got all the take lanes under here. So now that I've got all these takes that are recorded, I'm going to simply go over here, and if you can see if I hover down to the bottom of the track, this turns into the comping tool. Right here is a selection, and when you go to the bottom of the track, it creates this comping tool. So I'm going to locate some points where it's, where it's good to make a split. Uh, right there, I'm going to go to another one here, and you can just see that I've made a couple different splits. So from there, all you have to do is just hit the play, and you don't even have to stop the engine. You can just go back and forth from all these tracks and skip around. So you can see up here on the parent track, what it's doing is it's populating the comp track at the top whenever I click on something. So that one sounds good. I'm going to leave that. It's already populated up to the top. And then I'm going to move over to the next phrase. So it's pretty cool. It's a real easy way to actually make, uh, make one great track out of a bunch of different takes. Now there's another mode that we have, which is called the quick comping. And uh, it's the quick comping mode where I'm going to hit shift and play. And you can actually maneuver around your clips now with the arrow keys. So this is even quicker. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to use the mouse. And once you find a track that you like, you simply hit enter and it populates up to the parent track. Once you have your compiled track, uh, you can actually flatten it and it will create fades on all your split points. So it's a real quick and easy way to get uh, great performances. So. I'm out of here. Thank you very much for watching this. And uh, if you want more information on Sonar, you can go to www.cakewalk.com. Sonar is available in three different versions, Sonar X3, X3 Studio, and X3 Producer. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you soon.